Hello and welcome to Sheepdog Says. Today, I just had the, it feels like the biggest meal ever. I'm so stuffed, I've literally just finished my dinner and thought I'd sit down and do a video. We ordered a Chinese from one of the local places and my wife said to me, if you feel like you can't finish it, don't force yourself. And I didn't, I actually binned some of it, which is very, very unheard of. I mean, I've always had kind of a, a hole that would not fill. I could eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. There'd be a point where I'd be eating at my mother-in-law's and she'd be saying, there's more meat if you want it, there's more veg if you want it. And I'd essentially have a couple of roast dinners, which is how I got to the massive size that I am and have been. Um, but today, I mean, I feel defeated. I feel like I might have to, I mean, I had a drink of water midway through to try and calm myself and whatever, but no, I'm just like, oh, that was, that was too much. I only had noodles and duck. Um, we were with some of my, some bits off my wife's order, but, um, not massively. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm talking to someone who used to, when I was younger, I could eat absolutely anything. I remember being about, I don't know, 12 and my mum made some rice and I think it got left on the pan too long and it all went really clumpy together. And my dad was like, I'm not eating this. So he went and made himself something else. Or so I just sat there eating plain rice, lumps of it, thinking this is the best rice ever. Um, you know, and I just generally kept that through. I, it never used to affect the, the size of me as well. Like, I remember I used to just be, I moved out on my own and it was all on me to cook and I'd eat kind of badly all the time. Um, there was a there was a time my mate reminds me of where we used to go to the gym every day. You know, this is how I got the, the, the muscles that I've got today that, you know, didn't just happen overnight. It was a grind all those years. Um, and we used, to, we used to go to the gym. We'd probably lift about four weights. We'd probably ride on a bike for about five minutes. We'd spend about an hour sat in the sauna seeing if there were any girls about. And then we would go and get a kebab and we'd sit at my place and drink and watch telly and then just generally chill out. And then we'd be back down there the next day, lift, you know, we'd probably go maybe three, four times a week, but it would always be the same routine. I remember we used to just go sit in the uh, the lounge and we'd, we'd watch the Grand National uh, one year, I remember, or whatever it was on, like the football results or whatever. But it'd be like, yeah, I've just been down the gym. I've just been down the gym, and it's like it didn't work. That's 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 put me off the gym forever. That's the thing. It's not it's not worth it. It doesn't work. There's no there's no way to make it work. It's impossible. Um, but I managed to stay thin. I must have done a lot of walking, and I guess because I didn't drive or anything, I did a lot of walking. Um, we used, I mean, I used to really again be able to eat. I'm quite fussy now. It has to be in date and right and that. I remember eating butter uh, not just raw or anything but like spreading it on stuff and then realizing one day that whilst it had a use by date of september it had a a dispose of after four weeks thing written on it and i'd had this butter for months and it makes me gag thinking about it now because honestly i only checked when it started to, I, I can't speak about it too much i feel sick thinking about it it started to taste gross and I looked at it, it was like, <laughs> um, I mean, as I've kind of got older then, I've like, my wife's been cooking food for me and I think I've become, I got used to just eating a lot. So I remember when we were at university, Kevin and I went to have a pizza meal with the university students on our course. And somebody said about their record and it was something like, I want to say that they said their record was maybe 15 slices. And I kind of thought that's not that many at a pizza hut or you can eat buffet. So I basically sat there and Kevin, the, <laughs> Kevin, the gang who ate quite a lot themselves, basically watched me consume 24 slices and about nine Pepsis. And um, I wasn't proud of it, but I did feel like, yeah, that's fine. Let's go for a let's go for a, uh, a snack. Let's go for dessert. You know, I was all right I'm on the way home. I, my mate, at the time, I don't know if there's ever a recording of it. We definitely spoke about it on a podcast at one point or another, but. I started to feel pains all down my arm and I was panicking. I was like, oh my God, I think I'm having a heart attack. I think I've eaten so much that I'm having a heart attack. But um, I didn't, I'm still here, I'm still all right. But I don't think that record ever got beaten. I mean, I certainly can't do that again ever. I've tried to. I remember, that I think the last time I was able to eat that sort of quantity, um, again, Kevin and I did a, a 30 mile walk for charity where we walked from our uni to a to a brewery, funnily enough, in Rutland. It was 30 odd miles. We took a wrong turn and ended up walking about 30, well, more than 30 miles. And um, when I got there, felt fine. Ordered a Domino's, ate a whole large pizza. I, I worked out the calories and that's probably about 400 under for the day, just about. But um, 
since about then, I'm suddenly, slowly but surely, losing the ability to just eat loads of stuff. Um, I'm kind of just at a point now where I do an order and I'm just like, I'll have this bit and this bit and I eat the first bit and that's it. Can't do it. Um, I'm just thinking of other sort of little bits that have happened over the years. Um, one story my dad reminded me of that I wanted to, it's a short one, but it was, I had a load of friends around for a party and we ordered a load of food. Um, I didn't know who'd ordered what, it was from lots of different places, so there's a knock at the door and I'm asking everyone to get their money ready and I'm asking everyone to correct up and get ready in case it's their food. I opened the front door, there's a man standing there with two bags and I said to him, Chinese or Indian? And he looked at me and he just blank for a moment. And then, and I'm not going to do an accent because it would be incredibly bad of me to do it, but he basically just went, sir, I'm from Pakistan. And I just, <laughs> I just stared at him and I was just like, I mean the food. And he just sort of didn't really give me, he just handed me it, told me it was £15 or whatever. I got someone to pay and I handed it off. I think it was the Chinese food. But, oh my God, the most mortifying. I mean, he, I don't think we ever ordered from there again just because we assumed that, yeah, he, he's never going to bring that without doing something to it on the way. You know, just assumed that that was the old racist house. That's where, you know, they want to know where you're from before they talk to you. Um, I don't think I'd ever live that down because that was witnessed by so many people. And, like, I talk, my parents heard about it, obviously. They laugh at me for it. But I should have put that in the embarrassing moment story from yesterday because that is pretty grim um but i mean other than that like there's not too much to go on to I've, i can't think of any major stories off the back of my off the top of my head except uh, I, sh I don't know if i want to tell this actually because again it's quite embarrassing it does kev always seems to be there when i have these ridiculous stories um we went out one christmas well it's nog fest some of you who've listened to our stuff for a long long time might recall we created our own holiday that we aimed to make bigger than Christmas by making it double in size every year for consecutive years. So we just thought for the early years, the two of us celebrating it, getting two more people to join us, getting four more people to join us, getting eight more people to join us. After something like 35 years, it would have been bigger than Christmas, the plan was. So I think we were two or three years in and, and every year it had been a car crash. We did a podcast the first year. I drank three pints of, of eggnog. Um, I was saying things that I regret saying on a recorded podcast. Um, they were sweary and rude and ranty. I don't think those episodes were, are available on the air anymore, but I know Lee McElwain has them somewhere if anyone ever wants to scout them out. I think the second year, again, we just got drunk and it was a bit silly. But then this third year or whatever it was, we, we went out. We had loads of people coming down from, from all over the country for a meeting in Peterborough. We were going to an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Um, we went, we'd gone to the pub first. We went back to our hotel room. Kev had this massive drum of um, eggnog, which is basically cream, uh, milk, more creaminess, whiskey brandy and some nutmeg basically and eggs so it's like a milkshake with loads of booze in it kev pours over on a little cup about that big i'm sort of saying to him kev i normally have pints of this stuff and it's always gone well previously so i ended up having two or three cups of it um and then all i really remember happening was we we went to this jimmy spice's place all you can eat restaurant i went and filled up a plate um i sat down i started eating and then i woke up at home very unwell um kev tells me what basically happened was i was feeling a bit grim and then i was sick but apparently i, I threw up an entire uneaten but f fully whole i say uneaten it'd been eaten but it was a fully whole yorkshire pudding completely solid I hadn't even been chewed i can't believe the, i believe him because i'm sure there was picture pictorial evidence but apparently it was a genuinely whole yorkshire pudding um they asked me to leave, apparently. I don't remember being asked to leave. We thought I might be banned, but I have been back since and they didn't recognise me. Um, Kev and the gang had to move to another table, I think. And it was, again, another embarrassing moment that could have could have gone on yesterday's uh, video. But I I don't think we've done a, a nog fest since. Maybe we should, but I don't know. I think the next year we decided to do it from our respective homes and just fill up a glass and salute each other from afar. And it was an international one. Um... But yeah, I, I'm just, 
I'm learning a pattern. I'm either really bad with most things or I'm, I'm just getting too old for this stuff now. I've behaved since. I've not gone to any all-you-can-eat places and, and embarrassed myself. Um, I did have another story pop in my head, but I've, it's it's floated off while I've been rambling. Um, I'm starting to get to a point where I can't eat as much, which is scary, really, because like someone said to me the other day, I, I have very little in the morning, very little at lunchtime. Um, just eat whatever my wife makes in the evening. Um, sometimes I'll snack, but generally between like getting up and about eight o'clock, I eat very little amounts of food. Um, but I know how bad I can be on the other end of the spectrum, so I have to keep a rein on it. Anyway, I've ran out of stupidity at the moment um, for this story. I'm so full up. I think I want I want to slip into a, a food coma and not move, but uh, it's it's quarter past seven at the moment, and it's football on in half an hour. So I'm hoping that if I just keep moving after half an hour, I might be able to just wake up. I'll probably have a bag of popcorn and a couple of beers and some chocolate and suddenly go even nuttier. But right now I feel like I couldn't eat for the rest of the week. And yeah, I'm just I'm just wrecked. Um, it was very nice food though, although I, most people in Deeping don't want to order from there. Um, I think I've got a, a bit of a curse. I remember one of the things I was gonna say, we, were, we used to love ordering from this place. I recommended it to Kev. Um, we used to always get pizzas, Indian food, all sorts of stuff from there. And then one day, the group that we're, our local uh, discussion group, somebody posted a picture of like completely black chicken that they'd ordered from there. And basically we've never gone back. And it's like, that seems to just happen. We'll, uh, it's the curse of being in this group. We order from these places, we're more than happy. A few people will say, oh, I didn't like it or whatever. We keep ordering and then suddenly we just get these cursed reviews through. Um, I have started checking the old numbers on the door, but I don't know. It's just, uh, I like them anyway. And yeah, I'm not going to name drop anyone because I don't want to cause any issues. Um, so anyway, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I really do need to get into this food coma, I think, and get it out of the way before the football starts. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know. What you know? Have you got any records for eating? Did you? I mean, I've just thought of a friggin' another one. I, I ordered a burrito once, thinking it sounded nice, and when they brought it out, it was a man versus burrito challenge, and it was like this big, and it was loads of burritos all bundled together, and I finished that before Kev and our friend finished their meals that were normal sized, and this was just for a lunchtime on like a Thursday. Um, so I am a monster. I was a monster. I've changed. I'm starting to become more human. But I'm starting to realise, I'm looking back at this thinking, oh my God, I am a freak. Um, but I'm fixing it. It's starting to get better. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm going to push further. I'm hoping that I'll look at videos in a year's time and there'll be a completely different looking person in front of you. But today's meal was just uh, not a blip or anything. We planned it. We just didn't want to cook and uh, fancy the Chinese. But yeah, I'm hoping I'll be this slim man who can just not look at food and whatever soon. Anyway, I'm rabbiting again. Thanks for watching. Cheers, I'll see you tomorrow.